Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to more Pokemon Dark Rising. In the last episode, we made it here to Salem, and in this episode, we are going to be doing some stuff, I guess. I don't know, I think someone said, I don't know if I checked it off screen or on screen, but someone said that their brother had gone missing or whatever, and we may as well go and find them. And yeah, if I sound different, I was at a wedding yesterday, and there was a lot of sort of, like, shouting for the bride and groom, whatever. So my throat is a little bit dry and sore, and yeah, if I sound different, it's because of that, and yeah, it's just... That's it, I guess. Yeah, that's the, that's the reason why. So, spirits roam this town. Okay, I'm just gonna talk to everybody again because I haven't played this game in like two days. I uh, yeah, I haven't played in like two days because I recorded yesterday's episode on Thursday, and I was gone for the whole day yesterday. So, yeah, this is my first time playing in two days, so I need to remember what I'm doing. Uh, hey, why is this guy walking away from me? I'm a trainer who just traveled into this town. It's creepy, ain't it? The worst part of it all is some of the invisible force field is blocking the way to the graveyard. I want to explore that haunted mansion I heard so much about, and maybe catch a Zoruo that eventually hangs around the Rosary Graveyard. Okay, uh, what do you say? No, why do you let my brother go to the forest? Why? I hope he's okay. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be dealing with that. Uh, what do you say? My little bro is missing. This ain't right. Alright, so I guess we'll go find him too, or maybe it's the same brother. Uh, what do you say? Do you believe in ghosts? No. Huh, I guess not. That white hunt on your shoulder, I'm just imagining it. So yeah, that's the girl from the regular Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, I come her to, to pray for the dead souls of Pokemon. I hop, I hop my, oh wow. Yeah, I don't really care, this is the name Raider's house, isn't it? I don't really care too much about, like, stuff like that, the grammar and stuff. It's just funny when you read it properly. When you read it like that, you read it, alright, I spoke to you already. When you read it like it's written, it just sounds so funny, so, yeah. It's becoming very unsafe for the youth in this town. You seem to disappear into the forest at midnight. I see. Okay, then. Uh, do I, have, I don't have to wait till midnight. I don't think. I hope not. Let's go in the mart and see what items we can get. So, uh, just the regular stuff. Nothing new here. Yeah, I already have all those stuff, so I don't need to buy anything else. Uh, do anybody here say anything? I'm searching for items that raise stats of Pokemon. They're effective over the course. x stack expanded. Yeah, and yeah, I don't know where you can get them, but I know. Uh, I know of them. Uh, Creepy Town, right? Yeah, that's too true. Alright, looks like we're right into the forest. Um, I'm gonna switch Barney to the front. If there's ghost types in here, it's fine, because I have Crunch. So I'm able to defend myself. So yeah, let's just uh, head down into the uh, Valer Forest. And not very creepy music, to be honest. Uh, you don't battle? You curse me, why? I I haven't even done anything yet. I haven't battled you or anything. And it's like a forest field there, blocking me from going off. I wonder why. Or else it's just like, unedited in area, I guess? She wants my soul. That's not very nice. I don't think that's something that I should let happen. So, Gasly and Duskull. Uh, we will just crunch the Duskull and Scald the Gasly. And hopefully it'll take them out so Duskull dies. That's good. And Scald is going to take out Gasly with a critical hit. Alright, sweet. So there we go. Uh, Chielli, I think her name was. That's a different name. Um, yeah, Chielli there. Uh, that was fun, I guess. That was an easy battle. And it's just like a big straight path. I feel like I'm going like in a maze. It's like I'm just going around in circles. Uh, okay, not anymore. We're not in circles anymore. Looks like uh, this is where all the kids are. So let's see what's happening with this person. Oh wait, this is the guy that I'm. He hit the tornadoes at the start, didn't he? You. It's about time. You again. No way. I could feel the jewel of life really close. But how could he be this deep in the forest without the mist guiding him? Unless he's the third person Florina told me about. I'll make you pay for what you did to me last time. Heh. <laughs> You're pathetically weak. Why would I waste my time with you? Well, I've grown from our last battle. This time I'm going to beat you. But before that, how's you? Quiet. You see, your problem is you think too much without knowing any knowledge at all. My name is Light. I'm the descendant of the god Arceus. What? The protection of Arceus has been passed down by my family for years, for generations. When I was born, the first thing I, was, I saw was the jewel. I'm not saying I don't believe you, but I'm getting a bad aura from you. Are you on the same side as mine? No, I follow my own direction in this war. Then step aside so I can get the juke. Wait, what's wrong with those kids? Are they the kids who've suddenly gone missing from Salem? The children are so free-spirited. They have all the time in the world to have fun, laugh. They think their life is all about fun and games. I simply show them how it feels to have your soul drained. Life is a prison. They need to learn the hard way. That's it, I'm going to defeat you and make you free all the souls of those kids. You say you're a descendant of Arceus, but you're doing evil work here. As I said, I follow my own direction. Thanks to Arceus, 
I was born to be a slave and worship it. You know, you know nothing of my life. Now, we'll, now you will learn pain. A dark Pokeball is summoned to light side. Okay then, uh... Nice bit of storyline. This is Pokemon Trainer Light with a Tyranitar. That's his lead Pokemon level 60. The jump in levels, <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, I thought I was like doing alright, and then they come with level 60s and stuff. Uh, let's go for Aura Sphere. We outspeed, which is good. Four times effective. Tyranitar being the bulky Pokemon that it is, though. I'm pretty sure it'll take this pretty kindly. And, yeah, not kindly, I guess, but it took it. It's gone for Stone Age, that's not very effective, so I can definitely take that. It's actually four times not effective. And I don't know if he's going to heal up or not. But I think I'm just going to go safely for the Aura Sphere anyway, just in case he does. Oh, he has a berry. Or leftovers. Uh, he has lefties, alright. And, yeah, I'm just going to safely go for an Aura Sphere. I didn't want to risk him healing up and then me going for Sword Stance. And him, or uh, him not healing up. Me going for Sword Stance and then him taking me out, so... Just play it safe, go for the Aura Sphere, I'm not really looking for the sweep here, so I don't really know what to expect from Light, so... One more, we'll take him out from there, that's great. And yeah, we don't even take Sandstorm damage because we're part Steel, so... Let's go for another uh, Aura Sphere, once this thing uh, gets its leftovers recovery. And we should take it out from there, don't miss, which is good, I don't think Aura Sphere can miss. I, I know it can't miss in future games, but I don't know if it can miss in this game. Oh, there we go, anyway, we take out Tyranitar, and that's awesome. And we got up to level 50, so Barney up to level 50, that's good. Next up, we have ourselves an incoming Rhyperior. I think I'm gonna go with Nikone on this one. Just because I have a uh, Scald, or even Water Pulse, that are quad effective on this thing. So, yeah, this Rhyperior is level 64. That's, uh, odd. Alright then, uh, let's just go for a Scald anyway and hopefully take this thing out. We do outspeed, so that's good. Even if we just get the burn with Scald, I'll be happy. Even if, I don't know if we'll take it out, but if we do, that'd be nice. If we get the burn again, that'd be even better. And we don't take it out. Do we get the burn? Nope. And he's gone for Rock Wrecker, which I have a feeling may kill me. And it is going to. Yeah, I, I kind of thought so. Um, let's just go with Grapevine then. I kind of expected that to happen. Rock Wrecker's like really strong. So we'll go out into uh, Tangrowth and just go for Mega Drain. Because, yeah, why not? All right, then, so... I actually should have went to Garchomp, I think. Could have set up a sword stance. I'm not sure what this thing wants to do to me, so... We'll go for Mega Drain anyway and just finish it off. We'll go for the guaranteed move that will kill. Even though Earthquake probably would have killed from there, so it doesn't matter. And there we go, so we take out Rhyperior. And get our HP back, so... Not too bad, I guess. Next up, we have ourselves an incoming Conarp. What is... I'm gonna go to Chomp... I'm going to Chompy, just in case. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm gonna go to Chompy. Uh, Conarp. Is that a custom Pokemon or something? Maybe that's the dark Pokeball that appeared beside him. What in the world is that thing? It's on level 65. Um, it's buffeted by Sandstorm, so I know it's not rock, steel, or ground. I'm gonna Earthquake it. I'm just gonna see what this thing is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's taking hefty- it takes super effective damage. It must be part poison, then, I guess? Poison or electric? I'm gonna say poison. It looks poison to me, so... I'm assuming this thing is part poison. Just because of the damage it took from Earthquake. It could be part rock too, actually. Or steel. It could be a lot of the ground is actually super effective on a lot of things. <laughs> it could be super it could be anything, but whatever it is, it's gonna die to this next uh, earthquake. So it doesn't really matter. Alright, so we take out Conarp. Weird. Uh next up we have Metagross. I'm gonna stay in. Uh it's a steel type. I don't know if I should have stayed in. I think it's I can I don't know if one earthquake is gonna kill this thing. I probably should have went out into something else and then like set up a sword stance or whatever. But it's fine. Uh, we'll just go for an earthquake, I guess, and see how much damage you do. Hopefully this thing doesn't like attack me or anything. Hopefully it goes for something stupid like Calm Mind. That would be nice. Uh, Earthquake's going to do about two, uh, three quarters, which is nice. This thing's gone for Psychic. That may finish me off. We'll just see about that. And it does. Ah, uh, it sucks. So we go down to that. That's kind of bad. Let's go with Scrappy. And what we'll do is just finish this thing with a Heat Wave. Pretty sure Heat Wave should get the job done from there. And yeah, alright, so. Tough battle so far. He's a lot of uh, Pokemon that are weak to ground, though, so it's a good thing I started with uh, Gibble, then other Pokemon. Or with then started with like the other two dragons I could have had. Alright, so we take that out. Next up, we have ourselves an incoming Gliscor. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. I appreciate this guy for using a good Pokemon. It's, it's Gliscor. Gliscor is an awesome Pokemon. Uh, it's on level 62. That's worrying. Uh, I know I'm staying in. I'm just gonna go for an overheat 
And it missed, that's great. And this thing is gonna finish me with an earthquake. That's bad. That's bad. I have max revive, I think, but I'm in a horrible position uh, to take on this guy. His glide score, I don't have anything for it, really. Let's go with Grapevine. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna use Sleep Powder. Then I'm gonna max revive uh, Chompy. And hopefully he'll win the battle from there. So, take Sandstorm damage. I'm pretty sure glide score can't kill off my Grapevine from full HP. It's gone for Roost. That's fine. He wants to just heal up. And Sleep Powder hits. I like how Overheat missed. But a very inaccurate move like Sleep Powder manages to hit. Does this thing have Sand Veil, actually? I can't remember. Yeah, I think Gliscor does get Sand Veil, so... Maybe that's why Overheat missed. Doesn't even matter, though. Let's just, uh, max revive. Gliscor is so defensive, though. This thing is a monster defensively. Uh, let's just use a max revive. And I think I got the max revive off-screen when I went... Uh, when I was coming back after healing my Pokemon at the, uh... The place. Uh, <laughs> not the place. The, uh... After we went to the last cave... I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the Mystic Cave. Went through the Mystic Cave. I went back in there. And I healed my Pokemon up. So, yeah. That's how I have a max revive. I went through the cave and I got the items I missed out on. And, well, Sleep Outer hits again. That's actually very good. So, let's just switch out into, uh, Chompy. Set up Sword Stance or two. And try and do some damage to this Gliscor. And hopefully take it out. But yeah, I, got, I went back into the cave. Got some, uh... There were some items that I missed out on, went around and got them. I didn't get all of them, I got some of them, but I got the obvious ones that were like right in front of my face, so I didn't have to go looking for them. And yeah, there was a, uh, there was a max revive there, so. Alright. Okay, so. Level 62 Gliscor, level 50 Chompy. Let's go for Sword Sands. This thing is. Yeah, Gliscor, one of the reasons it's my favorite is because it has such a great move pool, but another reason is because it is one of the best defensive Pokemon in the game. It's incredibly defensive. And it takes hits very well. So I'm going to need more than plus one. I'm going to need to be plus two. Uh, this thing's going to go for Earthquake. That's bad. Actually, it's bad that it outspeeds me too. Because I can't do too much to it. And that Earthquake did a hell of a lot. So uh, here's opening like waste a turn and goes for a Roost or something. And doesn't hit me with an Earthquake. Otherwise, I am in serious trouble with this Glide score. Uh, let's go for Full Restore. And heal ourselves up. And there we go. So up to full health. As this thing is going to go for Stone Edge. That's great. I'm just going to speed this up a bit because I need to get an attack on it. So let's go for Slash, and Earthquake is going to do a lot. Slash is... That's only a... Um, wow. That only did about half. <laughs> After all that. Wow. Alright, um... I don't have anything else to heal me up fully, do I? I used that Hyper Potion earlier, so... Or not earlier, a few episodes ago, so... I'm just going to keep healing up like this and hope that he keeps going for Stone Edge, stupidly. Uh, let's heal up again. Yeah, he's gone for Stone- Why well, he keeps going for Stone Edge, so... Let's just bank it, I'm going for Stone Edge one more time. And I can finish him off with a Slash. <sighs> of course. Alright, uh... Let's go with Starline, I su- Actually, no, we can go with Grapevine, I think. A Grapevine can take this thing on, so... Yeah, we'll just go for Mega Drain. This guy score is taking me so long. Just like the last battle, the Altaria took me forever. And, of course, this thing has- Of course, it uses Roost. Alright. I have an idea. Uh, we'll just, uh, put this thing to sleep with Sleep Powder, and then we'll, we'll set up a ton of groats, and finish it off with Mega Drain. That's my strategy, and hopefully, it'll work. Alright, so that did a lot of damage, but Sleep Powder hits, finally, which is good. And, yeah, I'm just gonna start setting up a growth, and hopefully he doesn't wake up in the next turn, that would be awful. That would be very bad, don't wake up. Good, alright. I can get some decent enough damage off here. Jeez, that's nothing. That's absolutely no damage whatsoever. Uh, now he's woke up, he's used Roost, that's good, so he just heal himself up. I kind of wish that Roost got rid of the, uh, the flying type in this game. I think it just heals you up, though, so. Uh, Sleep Powder again, good, he's using Roost, stalling me out, that's cool. This battle is... <laughs> what is with these long battles? I mean, they're really annoying me, because... I should be going through these guys, no problem, but they're all of, like, level 60s. Uh, Growth again. That was definitely a risk, because he's probably going to wake up on this turn and finish me off. Alright, he didn't wake up, that's fine. Mega Drain is doing a, a bit more, not too much more, but a bit more. Um, I, yeah, we're Mega Drain again, he wakes up. He keeps using Roost. Ugh, stop it. Please stop. Oh my god. I'm so, I'm tired of this. Stop using Roost! I'm so tired of this. Alright, I'm gonna set up more growths because I need to do, I need to be doing more damage than that. I think I should be doing at least half now with, uh, with this, so let's Mega Drain, 
And we are going to do, yeah, about a third. Well, we're getting more HP back, so... I think he's still going to win the Stall War if he wakes up. He hasn't woken up yet, that's great. And one more is going to take him out, so even if he roosts, he's in a terrible position. I think I finally got this thing. Yes, fast asleep, finally! Wow, I know I like Gliscor and everything, but that was just a torture to kill. Finally, he has Aggron. Uh, I do have Starline with uh, Brick Break, and I also have Aura Spear, so I should be fine for this thing. Getting Intimidate off. And we will go straight for a Brick Break. Shouldn't do too much, though, because Aggron is so defensive. Double Edge, it's not Rockhead, so that's good. Go for another uh, Brick Break. And, yeah, Aura Spear will get the job done from there. So, just about win this battle, but, wow, this took me 10 minutes. Another 10 minute long battle. I'm so sorry. I mean, this is... The last two episodes have been terrible. Nothing has been done. Nothing. <sighs> Alright then. Uh, we fell to one knee, apparently, after that battle. I, I can understand why. The Jewel of Life is nothing more than a small instrument of proof. Showing you'll do whatever it wants you to do. Here. I don't think I can use it anymore. Okay, so we got the Jewel of Life. Uh, put the Jewel of Life in the key item's pocket. Hey, what's your problem anyway? I was born to protect and worship Arceus. I never wasted my life like the children you see here. I was never allowed to play games and be as free as them. You sound bitter. You did a good job, but you can't blame others for your life just because the life you were brought in. Just make the best of it. I have. I'll no longer be a slave to Arceus' wishes. That's why I chose Daruka's ultimate power. Creature creation. Creature creation? Is that Pokemon an example of that power? I felt an energy was being absorbed every time my Pokemon was damaged. You still have a lot to learn, Stu. Farewell. Uh, I guess I can get used to this. Oh, where are we? Um, trainer, we don't really remember what happened, but I think you saved us. So thank you. No problem. Uh, okay, go back to your parents. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's what you should do, because they're worried about you and whatever. And, what the hell? Uh, glitch, I think. Um, yeah. I don't think that was meant to happen, but whatever. Uh, game just glitched up a little bit. And we have to run all the way up this path. Wow, this is... A long path, all the way back to Salem, I need to heal up. And, uh, yeah, so, here we are, here, uh, for rescuing our brother, uh, he's not here, though. I don't know where he is, but he must be somewhere. Uh, yeah, let's just heal up. And I guess we'll see what's going on in the grass, or on the next route, I suppose, so, there we go, all heals up. And we'll head over into this grass, seeing as I did, I did nothing else this episode, I feel like I have to do some more, so, Starline, you can get to the front, Nico Day, you can chill with them as well, because you're both on level 49. Stu hears a mysterious voice. You carry the Jewel of Life. You may enter. So this is the Rosary. I better brace myself for what awaits me. Stu heard a large scream from deep inside the graveyard. That sounded like Sydney. She might be in danger. I better check it out. Okay then, so let's use a Super Repel. And yeah, I need to train up more. I'm doing some grinding after this episode. Because that battle just annoyed me so much. Uh, this guy is a Pidgeot, because he likes to collect Pidgeots. Uh, he has a Pidgeot Mr. Raptor, actually, so not a bad collection. Uh, I'm gonna go for the threat, in my opinion, where you're gonna, uh, Aerial Ace the Pidgeot will spark the Staraptor. Staraptor is definitely a bigger threat, in my opinion. So, they both have Brave Bird, which is pretty nice. Ah, uh, yeah, Staraptor dies to one spark, that's nice. And we'll Aerial Ace and spark again, because what else can I do? Uh, Roost is gonna finish that off, or not Roost, Spark is gonna finish off, even after Roost, because Roost doesn't get rid of the, uh, the flying type. Trying to learn Hydro Pump. That's nice. Uh, get rid of Water Pulse, I suppose, because I never use it. And yeah, um, have a decent enough move pool here with Nico Nay. Two Water type moves, a Electric type move, and a Ghost type move with Confuse Ray. So we're doing rather nice. And Brick Keeper Peter is defeated. So next up, we'll head down here and uh, battle you, I guess. What's a cute round of fluffy Pokemon? Uh, Jigglypuff, I think. Igglybuff. Cottony. That's not pink. Um, alright, so let's, uh, Aerial Ace and Skull, I guess, best things I can go for. Actually, Hydro Pump is the best thing I can go for now, but Skull does enough, so it's fine. And, yeah, Synthesize just to get taken out by an Aerial Ace, well done. That was fantastic tactical strategy, just like the last trainer, using a Roost. That was just tactics, in-game tactics, I like it. Alright, you next. A rambling, gambling dude, I'm a rambling Pokemon Let's Player dude, so... We sound like a good match. Wow, this guy is full of threats. This guy has threats galore. Uh, let's just go for that. Uh, Brave Bird, the Machamp, Skull, the Alakazam. And Brave Bird gets a critical hit. That's nice. And Alakazam is going to use Calm Mind. That doesn't help me too much. Good thing that Staraptor outspeeds it, though. 
so I should finish it with Aerial Ace, and we'll go for Spark anyway, just in case. And yeah, there we go, so, that wasn't too bad. I don't have anything else on level 49. I do not, everything's on 50, so Starline can still lead the charge. Uh, let's take on you. We still have a few more trainers to battle here. Uh, you need strategy to win at this, we'll see. You have, uh, Magneton, I need to get out of there. Uh, we will go with Scrappy, because, yeah, just go with Scrappy. So, let's use Lock On, which means it's not going to miss. We'll Heat Wave it, and hopefully take it out. Yes, we do, so there we go. Next up, we have a Bronzor, we'll stay in. Don't want to mess around with Bronzor, I hate Bronzor, so there we go, we take that out as well. And finally, a Yanma. So, we'll go with uh, Nico Nane, just go for Spark, and take it out. So, Zen Headbutt does nothing, get the flinch, though, that's fortunate end. Should have just went to Star after, shouldn't I? <laughs> Definitely should have just went to Star after. I have Awakenings. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, let's just get rid of that sleep. There we go. And attacks. Don't use Hypnosis again, please. All right, Wing Attack. That's good. And Spark will kill you off. So there we go. That took unnecessary amount of time, but it's fine. We won. We got the job done in the end. Uh, next up, we have these two. So more double battles. Shock us with Twin Power. Okay. Uh, two Amulgas. Not good at all. Not good for uh, Starline, at least. So we can switch it up and go with Chompy, and we'll just go for Scald on one of them, and I actually should go for Hydro Pump, because obviously Hydro Pump will do more. So, Scald actually nearly takes one out, we'll just slash this one and Scald the other one. Don't have Static, please. That's good. No Static on that one, at least. Iron Tail. Get this Defense Drop, that's actually pretty lucky for that Amolga. Uh, slash and Scald, and there we go. So, easily done. No problem. Level 51. Good stuff, Chompy. And, uh, is that the last trainer there, or... Yeah, that's what it looks like, so... I think we have a very, uh, threatening thing happening in the, uh, that building we saw there. So I think I'm gonna wait and train up off-screen before I do anything. We'll take on this trainer first, and then I'll wrap it up, so... Andre, Mienfu, that's perfect for Starline. I can just aerial ace it, and take it out, so there we go, that should be level 50. Next up, we have a Flotzel, or Floatzel, so we'll go with, uh, Grapevine. And just go for a Mega Drain Crunch. Should do actually... Alright, that would do more than that. Obviously not too much. And Mega Drain finishes it off, so there we go. And finally, we have ourselves an Ariados. So we'll go back with uh, Starline. Take this thing out with a Brave Bird. Finish it with Style and go for a Brave Bird. And there it is. So, not bad. I need to go back and heal. And I think I'm pretty much just going to wrap it up here with that. And we'll go into those buildings in the next episode. Because the comments told me... That we have something uh, really threatening coming up, and if it's true, then it is insanely threatening, and I definitely want to level my Pokemon up. I'll just use the Versus Seeker and battle all those trainers all over again. I love the Versus Seeker, because it makes uh, training a lot easier. So, there we go, all heals up, and I think with all that said and done, I'm going to wrap it up here. Next time, we'll head into the mansion, or I think it's a mansion, or whatever. So, I will see you guys more shortly enough. Catch you then.